Now, our weekly commentary, Steel Resolve. Here's Sarah Steelman. Thanks, Kevin. Once again this week, President Obama has let his true colors shine through. Usually his actions make me mad, but this week his actions left me feeling very sad for our country. Tuesday marked the 150th anniversary of Gettysburg, and yet Obama declined going to the ceremony. Abraham Lincoln sacrificed his life for the cause of freedom and quality in this nation, and President Obama can't attend the ceremony because of Obamacare website problems? That is very sad indeed. And two days later, President Obama, Harry Reid, and most of the Senate Democrats continued to dismantle the institution that used to be known as the U.S. Senate. They got rid of the filibuster for certain confirmation votes. The filibuster allows the minority to have a voice. It enables the Senate to be a more deliberative body. It gives each senator the power to represent his constituents' interests. It forces compromise. As a former state senator serving in the minority, I frequently use the filibuster to kill bad laws or amendments and force a reasoned compromise. Then we Republicans took over the majority in Missouri, and I watched my fellow Republicans eliminate the filibuster. The Missouri Senate is now highly partisan and ineffective. I never supported it. Instead, the U.S. Senate should reform the use of the filibuster by requiring senators to be physically present on the floor and support their position, rather than filing a letter objecting to an appointment or a bill. That would force public debate rather than backroom deals and useless obstruction. It would be used less frequently and not abused by both sides. It's been a sad week for the Republic. This is Sarah Steelman for Serenet Radio. Tune in again next week for another segment of Steel Resolve right here on the Palin Update.